Welcome. Now in this module, we're going to take a look at version control best practices. In the previous module, we had talked a little bit about version control is, um, you know, how it works and what are the benefits of version control. So for best practices, um, there's this URL on the screen and there was a very good collection of uh, best practices that, um, you know, and I've taken this information from in this module uh, from this reference, which is shown on the screen. Now, number one, um, these are now best practices for version control. Starting with the basics, choose a source control system. So you need to pick up a tool which will automate because there's going to be a lot of users, a lot of versions, and we need an automated tool which is a reliable tool. And if you search for version control software, there's a lot of, lot of open source um, version control tools available as well. And keep your source code in source control, but not files generated and compiled from it. Okay, so you know, keep your source code there, but not the extra files. Ensure the working file is from the latest version of the source file. And uh, that's, uh, that's in fact very important. Um, uh, you know, the working file is picked up from the, the most latest uh, version of the source file. Only check out the file being worked upon. Um, and that's very important. And these are very, these seem very minor, um, you know, rules, but when there's a lot of people working and we're working very intensely, it's very important to conduct awareness and to train people on these best practices because errors can be made. And this could ruin your entire version control activity and the integrity of the activity. Number five, check in immediately after alterations are completed. Okay, so when you've done the alteration, check in and, uh, you know, uh, place the, the, um, the software in the repository. Review every change before committing and utilize the diff function. So, you know, usually uh, there's some additional functionality in the tool. Commit often, every commit provides a rollback position, okay? Um, uh, so there, in, in the tool or utility, there's different capabilities to help uh, the software developers and the users. Make extensive detailed notes in the check-in comments about why the changes were made, so that there's a trail and, and you can, you know, when you're doing a, a big program, you can actually forget um, what changes were made and why they were made. And developers must commit their own changes only. Uh, that's very, very important. Uh, use the ignore button for files that should not be committed. Consider adding pre-commit filters to prevent the wrong kinds of files, such as accidental check-in of personal user settings docs from entering the source control. So a good source control software tool will have all those features that I'm mentioning here, and it will enable you to implement the best practices. And the last one is, Ensure external dependencies are added to the source control, a common problem where everything works great on the contributing developer system, but not elsewhere because they forgot to add dependent files to the system. So you always add the dependent files uh, in the repository as well. And that's all that we have uh, in, this, in this module. We looked at best practices for version control, which is very, very important for software development um, and for other IT software um, assets. Uh, whenever we're maintaining versions for those. Very, very critical, and you need a good tool for that. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.